And now to a 7 News alert, a new push from first responders telling everyone to really be careful if you're going on the water this summer. It all follows two people who were found dead in Upstate Lakes over the weekend. 7 News reporter Chloe Salsameda has the story. When going into the lake, emergency services urges everyone to use a life jacket if they're in water that they cannot stand in. They say it's needed for even the strongest swimmers. It was a sunny Saturday on Lake Kiwi. A group was enjoying the day on a boat near High Falls County Park. Around 4 o'clock, the Oconee County Sheriff's Office says a child was swimming and became distressed. That's when they say 35-year-old Caleb Cohen went into the water to help the child. The reports we got was that when he went into the water to save the child, he started having problems. He started struggling while he was swimming. He was not wearing a flotation device. And at that point, he went under and, and never came back up. We're told the child made it out of the water safely. But dive teams searched for Cohen for hours and found his body about 30 to 40 feet underwater. We did find the victim pretty much in the area that he actually went underwater at, so there was no movement at all. When he went down, he went straight down. As more people prepare to spend time on the lake, emergency crews are urging adults and children to be careful. We always want to recommend that people, you know, swim in pairs and then always have a life vest, some type of floating object. Scott Crine is Oconee County's Emergency Services Director. He says wearing a life jacket is key. You can be just a few feet offshore and find yourself in water that's over your head. In any water that you can't stand up in, we want to make sure, especially kids, wear a life vest um, all the time. If they're on a boat, wear a life vest. It only takes a second for a problem to happen. Now, first responders also remind you that it's important that your life jacket fits properly. In Oconee County, Chloe Salsameda, 7 News.